Hello and welcome back to Miss O'Donnell's classroom. Today we're going to be working on our fractions again and we're continuing on with using our egg cartons as our manipulatives. Here we have our whole, we're just going to review a couple of the other things. Our whole is our 12th and then we have a different size parts to our whole that we have sectioned off. So we have ones, twos, threes, and fours. Okay, so what we're going to be doing with fractions today is working on finding out how to identify which fraction is larger. So today we're going to have you bring out your worksheet called Big and Small. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of these and we're going to find out how, when we look at these egg cartons, using these eggs cartons, we can identify which fraction is bigger. So let's take a look at number two on your worksheet. And on that, we have lined up a single egg carton, a four, and a three. So let's grab a three, a four, and a one. Okay, now that we have our materials we need, we're gonna take a look at this. Now out of 12s, right? Our first one is one part out of the whole 12, correct? So we have one twelfth. All right, great job. So that's one fraction. Let's write that under, right there by that one twelfth. Okay. Into the center column, we have a four. So we have four parts out of our whole twelfth. Correct. So that makes it four twelfths. Wonderful. Now, can we simplify that? We can. Yes. How can we simplify that? Wonderful, how many times does four go into 12? Three, you're correct. So would that mean one four goes into 12 three times? Wonderful, and that means one third, right. Let's go ahead and write that down next to the picture to represent one third. And then the last one in that row, they have us using a three. So we have our three parts, correct, out of our 12 whole, yep. So just like the one before, 3 twelfths. Can we simplify that? Yes. Okay, so tell me how many times, yes, 3 goes into 12 four times. So how do we restate that when we're looking at these? 1, 3 over 4, yes, so it's 1, 4. Great job. So we're going to write that next to there. Now, we've written down on the, we have 1 12th, 1 3rd, and 1 4th represented. If we're going to see which one is bigger, how do we remember how to do that? That's right. We know that the number on the bottom is called the denominator, says how big the whole is, and the number on the top, the numerator, says how big the part is. And the numerator in all of them is one. Great job. And how about the bottom number? 12, 3, and 4. The denominators are 12, 3, and 4. Which one of those denominators is the correct answer for which one is the largest fraction? One third. Great job, because one goes into three three times, whereas what would be the smallest one then? One twelfth. One has to go into 12, 12 times. Fantastic. I think you've got this. Go ahead and carry on with the rest and let me know if you have any questions. 